Okay, here's a fun math question for you guys on exponents. Which is bigger, 2 to the 3,000th power or 3 to the 2,000th power? Go ahead and use a calculator. Let me know if it works. If not, then go ahead and pause the video, think about it mathematically, and maybe use the rule of exponents, and let me know. Done? All right, so have a look. We have 3,000. Of course, if you put this on the calculator, most likely you'll crash your calculator. Well, overflow, not really crash. Likewise, this, right? Well, notice that this right here is the same as 3 times 1,000. So we can look at this as 2 raised to the 3 times 1,000th power like this. Yeah. Likewise, this, we can also look at this as 2 times 1,000th power. Why? Because if we have the same power, we can just compare the base. The bigger the base, the bigger the whole thing will be, right? So here's the deal. I'm going to keep the 1,000, and we are just going to look at this as 2 to the third power first, and then raise to the 1,000th power. Can we do that? Yes, because that's pretty much the rule of exponents backwards. Usually when we have 2 to the third power and then to the 1,000th power, we multiply the powers and we get that. But right now, we're just doing it backwards. When we multiply the exponent, we can put the exponent to the base first and then raise to the exponent. So we can do the same thing here. That's 3 to the second power and then raise to the 1,000th power. Work this out. 2 to the third power means 2 times 2 times 2 which is 6, not just kidding, it's 8. And then to the 1,000th power. And then this right here, 3 to the second power, 3 times 3, which is 6, not just kidding, it's 9. Now, which one's bigger? They have the same base, and they are all positive, right? So of course, the, sorry, they have the same power, expo they have the same exponent, and they are all positive base, so the one with the bigger base will be bigger. Therefore, of course, it's, it's bigger like this. So the answer is 3 to the 2,000th power. That's it.